The French ambassador to the Pacific has condemned violence in New Caledonia, calling it an unacceptable means to an end. Veronique Roger Lacan says you cannot justify daily protests just because one group fails to use their political power to convince the Assembly and the Senate against their controversial constitutional reform. Ms Roger Lacan spoke to Lydia Lewis from Paris after representing France at a United Nations decolonization seminar. She calls for peace. Since I arrived in New Caledonia in uh, October last, I've been banging on their door uh, asking for discussions and coordination and cooperation. And it seems that those guys do not just do not want to, to cooperate nor to coordinate. My job is not anything, it doesn't have anything to do with the institutional future of New Caledonia. My job is, given the current framework, which is New Caledonia after the third referenda being a part of the French Republic, is to implement as much as possible the law and implement it to the benefit of New Caledonia to the benefit of French Polynesia, and this benefit to those territories would benefit everyone in the Pacific, also Australia, New Zealand, all the members of the Pacific Islands uh, Forum. This is what everyone has to understand, that what we want to do, what the French state want to do, is in the interest of the stability and peace and prosperity of the Pacific. It's not anything that the French state imposes. It is something that the Caledonians have chosen through democratic scrutiny votes. And if the democracy in New Caledonia has decided that this is the way it has to be, we cannot impose on 60% of the population in New Caledonia something that the others do not want. And on that basis, we are ready for dialogue, we are ready to, uh, to find a solution, but it should not be uh, imposed through violence, because this violence has been really amazingly uh, unacceptable. Tell me about what happened in Caracas and about the conference that you attended. It was, uh, so you know that uh, the United Nations have established a committee on decolonization by two resolutions, uh, resolution 1514 and resolution 1541 of 19. 19- 60 that uh, provide the framework for the UN to deal with decolonization issues. The principle is that there should uh, remain no colony in the world uh, starting from those resolutions. This same principle is enshrined in the French constitution. The right to self-determination is a constitutional principle in the French constitution as much as it is in the UN Charter. So every year, the United Nations have some type of cycle which starts by a seminar of preparation of the Committee on Decolonization. The seminar is held either in the Pacific or in the Caribbean. This time it was in the Caribbean. Then the committee itself is held in New York in June. So I was representing this year France at the seminar for the preparation of the C24 meeting. And this seminar was taking place in Caracas. And what did you submit on behalf of France? So on the C24 agenda, there are 17 territories and what they call uh, in the UN terminology, they are called the uh, non-self-governing territories, meaning territories under administration of other administering powers. 17, 10 are under UK administration. Two, New Caledonia and French Polynesia are under French administration. 
and three, Guam and two others are under U.S. administration. France is the only administering power who has ever seated in this committee and discussed with the members of the committee and interacted with the uh, local executive powers like uh, New Caledonia. There have been calls from various groups for a UN delegation to go to New Caledonia. What is the latest yeah. on that? The C24 has uh, been in New Caledonia many times at the request of the New Caledonia government, at the request of the French author- authorities, just on their own, also to monitor the uh, three referenda. So it's a long-lasting uh, cooperation history between the C24, the local government of New Caledonia, and the French state. And the calls for involvement of the C24 are coming from all parties. We have uh, invited the C24 to come again whenever they wish. And the various parties also, this time in Caracas, called for the C24 to come. Has there been a response? From my own uh, understanding and feeling of the debates in the committee, The committee heard the voices of everyone. So they heard the voices of the independentists. The uh, New Caledonia government was represented by Mikael uh, Forrest. I want to insist on the fact that the government of New Caledonia is a collegial government representing all parties in New Caledonia. Whether uh, Mikael Forrest uh, represented the views of a collegial government in this meeting, I'm not sure. I'm asking the question. It will be up to all of them to uh, respond. He made a statement and calling uh, for T24 mission. Then there was a representative of the uh, Flinks also calling for this type of mission. Then there were five representatives of the loyalists And they all made the case of the fact that the third referenda had, in compliance with the two UN General Assembly resolutions, determined the future status of New Caledonia. And they didn't call for a UN mission because they said that the UN had monitored the three referenda, had monitored anything possible in New Caledonia, and that everything was decided now. And we just had to implement what was decided through the three referenda. As a representative of the French state, I made the case on the fact that we had always been the only administrating power in the C24 to sit in the C24 and to negotiate and to uh, cooperate with the C24, the United States, New Zealand and the United Kingdom never did that. That's one. Second, that we had welcomed the C24 uh, all the way uh, in New Caledonia, in Paris, and, and vice versa. We would also go to New York to discuss with the C24. And that we had called for a dialogue always. And that it was unfortunate that uh, one single party, the Caledonian Union, slammed the door of negotiations in September, whereas everything was open. Everything is for uh, negotiation and discussion and coordination. So if there is one part of the uh, political parties who slams the door of the negotiations, what can we do? Nevertheless, even if they slammed the door of the negotiations, we kept the French state, kept calling everyone for discussion in Paris, in Noumea. Our government went so many times to Noumea to discuss. And even now, we are ready to discuss. So that's the plea that I'm that I made on behalf of the French government, a plea for dialogue. Also, a most welcome to a UN whenever they want to visit. And that's what was reported in the conclusions in proceedings of the seminar. The fact that dialogue was still on the table, provided that everyone 
was ready for dialogue. As far as the French state is concerned, our door is open. We are welcoming everyone for dialogue in, in Paris or in Nouméa. It's up to everyone to join for the dialogue. And if I may add a personal note, everyone is saying that uh, this unrest has been called for because they were not listened to by the French state. Well, what I want to say is that the Numea agreement has enabled everyone in New Caledonia to have a representation in the French National, National Assembly and in the Senate. And it is up to all the parties, including the independentists who have some, dep some uh, representatives in the National Assembly and in the Senate, to use their political power to convince everyone in the National Assembly and in the Parliament. If they don't manage, it is an amazing, amazingly unacceptable way of uh, voicing their, their, their concerns through violence, because the unrest uh, in New Caledonia is absolutely unacceptable and is is provoked by very specific uh, parts of the uh, Caledonian establishment.